So we'll do our GT3 winners now, the number eight Iron Lynx Ferrari 488 GT3 for the second time this year, a, a double win from La Castilla and now here in Spa. Reno Mastanani and Giacomo Piccini. Reno, you took it from pole position. Again, you had a bit of a battle at the beginning of the race with uh, Michel Gatting, your teammate. Um, but uh, talk us through your first part of the race, and apparently you had a bit of an issue with the gearbox towards the end of your stint. Yeah, I had a problem with the gearbox just before the end of the stint. Uh, and fortunately, I was uh, lucky. Uh, I made it to the end. And Giacomo was able to jump in the car and, and, and start for his stint. Uh, he also experienced some problem during the during the last, uh, the second hour. And unfortunately, David Perel was able to catch him and chasing, chasing him, but this Giacomo did a very fantastic job at the end to protect the position and really, I really enjoyed it. Very, very good driver. So it's another win, I say two wins in two races, it must be really good, especially, especially as that was a much harder race for you guys. Yeah, it was much harder than, um, than Paul Ricard. The car was a, li a little bit more difficult this time to drive, it was quite quick, uh, but more, a, lot, uh, a lot more difficult. But, uh, you know, as you can see, it's, it's been enough. Yeah. Uh, we, are, we are again... Giacomo, I will talk through your race. Um, you, you had a heck of a race with the 74 Ferrari, um, including that little incident at the end. But we'll talk about the start. You obviously had a bit of a lead, then you started losing. Was this the gearbox issue that Reno was talking about? Yeah, actually, I want to say that the win of today mostly is due to the fantastic stint that Reno did at the beginning, because thanks to the advantage he could get, uh, I mean, we also had more penalization during the, uh, the pits, so I managed to have some gap that allowed me, let's say, to, to get almost until at the end of the stint uh, uh, in front of, uh, of David. Yeah, I had some issue with, uh, with the gearbox. Uh, I have to say that it wasn't too big. Uh, it was just in one or two corner, but I could manage it. The car was quite difficult to drive today, so when, when David came back, uh, I just had to try to, to manage the situation, not to make a mistake. And then the most difficult thing was that I already had uh, a black and white flag due to the difficulties to drive the car, so I couldn't do any track limits. It was going a little bit everywhere around, so I, I tried to just stay calm and to manage the situation, and uh, we managed to get it to the end. So I'm really, really happy that he did a fantastic job during the preparation, pit stop, uh, Reno was fast, and uh, it was really, really amazing. So thanks to Aero Lynx, thanks to everyone. I think you were using every trick in the book, I think, to keep him behind you, especially that last horse yeah. overtaking maneuver, because we saw him used to go wide, he went down the and you went down back on the inside. From where we were sitting, it was pretty entertaining. What was it like from where you were sitting? Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I had, I had a lot of fun, you know. I know some tricks now. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, and we've got to talk about that, that, that maneuver on the last corner, because obviously you, you spun round. You, it, yeah. Was it you know, was it 50-50? Was, yeah. it, was I, it a mistake? I mean, of course, he pushed me out, but I was doing everything to keep him behind so yeah. i don't complain about it i need to ask you we're going back to the castellet instead of going to barcelona can you talk us through what your thoughts on going back there and what you're hoping for another obviously another win you know i think that uh, we have to be happy to to race because the situation uh, is getting worse and worse all, all around so let's hope that we are safe and we are anyway able to do that uh le castellet is a fantastic track we already won there we have a good setup so i'm pretty happy to do that too so shame not to go to barcelona because it's a fantastic track but i'm sure we will be back next year